I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will discuss how to relate circumference and area of a circle. So we have actually two questions here. The first one is steps to find circumference of a circle for a given area. So that is kind of a general uh, statement which I have made and the second part here is find circumference of a circle with area of 100 pi centimeter square. So once we derive at a formula which relates circumference with area then we'll use that formula to find the circumference when area is 100 pi centimeter square. So that is what we are going to do in this particular video. <coughs> so as you know circumference of a circle is we can say c equals to 2 pi r and the area of a circle is a equals to pi r square. Now both of them have r in common. So what we can do is we can write r in terms of a and replace it in the equation for circumference relating circumference with area. I hope you got this strategy, right? So we'll work with the second equation. Let's call them equation number one and two. So this is equation number one for us. This is for two. So we'll try to relate R with area or reorganize or isolate R. So we are working with A equals to pi R square. If I have to isolate R, first step should be divide both sides by pi, right? Divide both sides by pi. Then this pi gets cancelled, right? This pi gets cancelled and we can write area divided by pi is equals to square of radius. So what is radius? Radius is square root of area divided by pi. Perfect. We'll take positive values since R is always positive. Normally when you square it, you take positive and negative, right? Okay. So we got a term which, rather an equation, which relates radius with area. So now we can call this as our equation number three. And if I substitute R as square root of A over H, pi sorry square if I substitute r as square root of a over pi in circumference we should relate circumference with area right so, so what is c equals to now 2 pi times r and r is square root of area divided by pi we can simplify this think about pi divided by pi which is which is square root of pi so we get square root of a times pi so that becomes an expression which can be utilized to find circumference when area is given to us right so we could treat this as as a new formula so we'll call this as our equation number 4 so let me highlight this equation which we are going to use to find circumference for the given area. Right? Let me show you this part once again. Uh, I'll show it here. How to do this div division part. We are writing c equals to 2 pi times square root of a divided by square root of pi. Do you see that? And pi divided by square root of pi will be pi. So that gives you 2 square root of pi times square root of a. And that gives you 2 square root of, you can say a pi or pi a. Pi a is better. Anyway, you could use either of these formulas. So we are done part a. That is we have understood steps to find circumference of a circle from the given area. So you could derive a formula as we did here. Now we are given area equals to 100 pi 
centimeter square. So we'll replace a with 100 pi centimeter square. So we get c as equals to 2 times square root of 100 pi. We already have a pi here, so we'll multiply by pi. Let's take centimeter square over than the square root. So you'll also understand how the units get transformed. So we get 2 times square root of 100 is 10. Square root of pi square is pi. Square root of centimeter square is centimeters, right? So the exact value for the circumference is 20 pi centimeters. So that is the answer for the second part, right? So we can say answer circumference is equals to 2 square root pi is better to write in front of a since that's a constant value which is 20 pi centimeters, right? So I hope that shows clearly the steps relating circumference and area. You can always share and subscribe to my videos. Feel free to post questions and thanks for watching. Thank you.